you up. As long as it's not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. Welcome back to the vlog, Titi. Anyway, today I want to talk uh, quickly about uh, the future of renewable energy. I had a great conversation with uh, somebody really knowledgeable in that space. And actually, there was a conference... Um, early November about the future of uh, renewable energy um, because there's, there's a lot of stuff happening on the space. And uh, let me put it this way, the, the future, number one, they, they, they're talking about mini grid and how to increase uh, the, the mini grid application, especially in densely populated areas where you can have a mini grid and connect a bunch of people into that grid and even small businesses. Um, that will allow to lower the cost of uh, electricity because mini grid can be half of what home solar system are. And, I, uh, and something that was shared to me that I didn't even know, that uh, kilowatts per hour for urban areas is about uh, four times to five times less than home, home solar system price on kilowatts, which is crazy. Uh, I still believe home solar system have a, a place especially with poorly densely uh, populated area. But that's number one. Microgrid has definitely some application. But uh, the second point, uh, I believe, which is the most important point, is sustainability. Yes, guys, I'm back to the sustainable comment and my favorite topic, how to make this business sustainable. It is and I, I want to be clear, that's my belief, that's the way I see it, being in this space for, well, we're not in this space particularly, but been been working um, in those areas and seeing how home solar system are still not making money, most of them. They, they're depending on, on uh, what's up, Titi? Looking down like you're shy. They're depending on um, uh, selling uh, televisions, radio, products that let's be let's be honest will not uh help those communities increase their revenue uh you know so it's impossible for the renewable energy space to become sustainable without government subsidies for low-income areas i repeat it's impossible for home solar system and mini grid to become sustainable without government subsidies. It's just that simple. That's my belief. Um, a lot of those companies are able to sustain themselves because they're getting millions and millions of dollars in grants and equity and all. By the way, most of those investors will never see a return of investment. And they probably know and they don't care, but that's the bottom line. The same, the last thing is a lot of those uh, system or companies are branching out into creating um, additional products. And I have a problem with that. I have a huge problem with that because I think it contributes to the poverty issues by creating debt um, for the consumer. You know, we're selling consumer-based products that lose, that depreciate over, over time, that br don't bring any extra value. Uh, and we're selling debt to the consumer to purchase those items uh, to people that don't understand fully what debt is they're going to be in debt for the next five to ten years we've seen what happened the financial crisis by giving debt to a bunch of people that you know not supposed to get debt and that's my problem we we we, we moving um away from the reality of what the problem we're trying to solve because they have to you know, build sustainability. And what's happening is, um, you know, you see a lot of those companies that believe that the market itself will be able to solve, you know, will be able to solve the problem. 
without subsidies. And that's not possible. So we're creating debt. We, we're giving debt uh, to people. And, and, and most of the income now going back to debt, some of them can't even pay. And I think it will have a, an increase or a negative impact for fighting poverty. The last part is, and that's very interesting, is how investors are so attracted to technology, especially in any space, obviously, but uh, in this renewable energy space. And most of this technology is so advanced that cannot be applicable for low-income people. I, I was looking at how now we're coming up with a smart home system uh, that will be sold to rural areas and all. That's crazy. I mean, it's ludicrous um, that people have the money to 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 get into this kind of system where even in urban area they don't have that kind of money you know and we've seen investor kind of getting sidetracked into what the reality is but i hope those key points uh like i said i, I truly believe that's the future we need to readjust and we need to refocus but subsidies is the big part the government needs to get involved we need to start believing the market will solve itself uh <laughs> we need to stop uh, uh, thinking that we'll be able to build a sustainable business based on the consumer. And we need to stop punishing poor people by making them pay extra uh, for energy. We need to find a way to lower that cost. And that's the closing point.